Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. In the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys. All right, guys, let's get it. Kansas City Chiefs. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get the adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. Back on the deal again. This is a top ranked player too that I'm playing. Well, top rank on the PS5 version. He's ranked in the 200s. Alright man. He hits me with the inside zone as usual. Of three wide receiver split. And to one side of the field. And he scores a touchdown on the very first play. That's already telling me something. Oh boy. Watch this right, these edge edge rushers. Oh, it's gonna be hard for me to call play action pass out of this play. This is just key data points you take from the game while you're playing it. Like, Alright, you see something happen? Alright, you gotta figure out how you're gonna call a play out of that next time. Watch this user over the left. He's kinda hovering, he's kinda taking away two routes over here, so I'm just gonna go over to the right side. Cause I know he's in a cover three. You know, he's trying to force it over to the left side, but I know he's over there. I'm just taking what he gives. Take what he gives and keep it moving. Tough play to read right here. Take what's underneath, underneath. On to the next play. What do we got? Um, he looks to cover me for the deep route underneath the middle of the field. Able to convert for first down. I'm already reading two routes over here. Because I know he's a user in the line. So it's either up or down. This is just a high low. A comeback and a whip route. This is only for me to look over to the left side of the field. I'm not even trying that. Because I know some people when I'm playing online, they tell me, hey, this guy's open. I'm like, yeah, I'm making my reads. I'm going off of that. Because <laughs> you guys don't understand what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with the line of scrimmage. You see the, the bull rush from the line, from the user online? And you also got to understand, I'm playing with the Chicago Bears. My line only gives me a good three to four seconds to get rid of the ball. Or I'm going to get sacked. Regardless whether they're blitzing or not. And when I'm playing online, people don't know that. Like, and I have to explain it. Just because you can do it with your team doesn't necessarily mean you can do it with the Bears. You know people run inside zone all day. I can't run inside zone all day with the Bears. They don't have the line capacity to be able to push defenders out of the way for me to run inside zone. So I, I have to find other plays to help me move the ball upfield. There it goes again, man. Back in the same play. He's going to try to run inside zone again. So... That's my mission now, is to stop the inside zone, also scaring routes coming across the field. So that's my dilemma right now. Just contain this inside zone, no more one play touchdown off of it. And I also gotta play a defense that, keep, that keeps him protected against the pass. So although he's getting 3-4 yards here, I can take those. If he keeps doing that upfield, that's fine with me. But I, I can't give up those big scores anymore. So we're containing the run. I'm not stopping it, but I'm just containing it. If you do this enough time, some people get frustrated and go something else. But as long as he doesn't mean anything big over the field. All these is containments. Two, three yards. A yard. That's fine. If he gets the first down, he just gets the first down. There goes the pass play underneath. He's putting him on a wheel route underneath, which is fine. Like I said, just keep on driving. Because once you get in the red zone, the, the red zone is going to be more of the defense that I'm playing. All those crossing routes are going to be harder to throw once you have reduced field to throw it in. So you can keep running the inside zone. and I keep, That's fine with me. Keep running underneath. Well, and then he's had another wrinkle now. He's scrambling with the quarterback. Okay. No problem. All data notes, data points I'm keeping track of. 
my receiver on the right, my defender on the right side, he's playing a 30, 30 yard uh, clouds. So I'm not really worried about that. He's going to take over that uh, Kelsey route. And that goes also send the uh, quarter's defender after the quarterback if he goes out there. So there go. So now I'm, I, I just switched defense, I think. All right. So now I'm just going to manage the run now. I'm not really worried about the deep threat anymore. I got to put a spy on, though. I can get a spy. I can get a spy on. There goes the spy. Mm-hmm. Out of bounds. There's the spy. All right. All right, come on. I'm not really worried about crossing runs right now. <laughs> this is the problem you run into when you play offense this way. Like, there is no thought or thinking into what he's doing. If you get down here, you 20 yards, look for five yard plays, three yard plays. If you want to keep running the ball, you can find passing plays that go for like 10 yards, five yards. Everything doesn't have to be 40 yards all the time. Watch this guy in the middle, man. This, this is superhero moves right here. This is what I was talking about in my last stream. These abilities sometimes, it feels like they're like superheroes. Nobody does that. I've never seen Chris Jones do that in real life. <laughs> So because I know he's in the middle now, I'm just going to just snap the ball and run to the left. Because I know it's going to be open. Right? I just set up the same play out of a different formation. I already know Robinson's going to because he's playing the same defense. So snap the ball, just take over to the left. He has a spy out there too, but I, I already know what's going to happen. I'm still going to be able to complete this pass. Stay still. First down. He's playing the same defense again. The middle of the field is wide open on this. Because there are options to this play. There's three options. Let's go to progressions. Just take what he gives. And this is the frustration that you pose to people that try to play cheesy. And they're not playing to me. They're just playing a scheme. That's worked all the time. If it doesn't work when you play somebody, you already know this frustration there. Because I'm like, this is supposed to work. Yeah, but you don't even understand why it's working against other people that don't know what the hell it is they're doing. Like, it's not always going to work. It's not always going to work. If I stayed in the pocket, I could have hit uh, my box receiver. But this is the same play I called earlier. But I know he's in a cover three cloud. I was trying to see if I could hit... Uh, Moving over here on the right side. But I got my option of X on the other side because I already know they're playing deep against. There you go. Just take what he gives, man. Don't rush. At least what happens when I have enough rest. I already know what's going to be open in this cover four. I'm just going to take off. <laughs> I know what's going to be open because of what he's been playing. So that's this cover three again, sorry. Cover three cloud. I want you to understand the defense. It's just easy to just wait your turn and get the right guy open. And I'm hitting him with so many different plays, like he doesn't know what I'm going to call next. Which is the beauty of like calling a bunch of plays. As opposed to what he's doing on offense, he's running one, well actually one play with three different options in it. Uh, crossing routes, inside zone, and then running back on in the flats. That's it. This right here, he has no idea what's about to happen. In this cover three defense he's in. Zero idea. Zero idea. <laughs> back at it again, man. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not That's ridiculous. There's zero rhyme or reason to what he's doing. He was a thinking man and he was stopping to adjust to what I'm doing, but he's not. He's just those rots up field, man. He's got to get those. Surprise, surprise. Playing everybody deep because what's the point? 15 seconds left. I can't get, I can't even get in field goal range. I don't want to get beat by Hill. I'm just going to send the blitz. It doesn't really matter. First down or not, it doesn't really matter. It's only seven seconds left, so. Just 
forcing to get rid of the ball. All right, man, it's at this third quarter. This is the big quarter right here. In my head, I'm coming into this like 14-7. I need to hold the ball for the rest of this half. That's the strategy. I need to hold the ball for the entire quarter. That way I can try to force him to come out of that uh, formation he's in. But I know one thing I'm definitely going to kill is the inside zone. So he can throw that all day all he wants. But he can't run the inside zone anymore. Because he's just going to waste time, right? Because he's probably going to be going no huddle. This is the other option of this play that he doesn't see in this cover four that he's playing. He doesn't see this option. You can only like he's playing with the Chiefs, but you can look at both offenses and say, "All right, which one seems more normal? Which one seems normal?" And it looks like somebody has an idea what it is they're doing, as opposed to the other guy that's just kind of, you know, banking on a cheap play. And players like this, to me, they destroy Madden. They make Madden almost impossible to play for people that are trying to just have fun and play the game, enjoy, you know, what football's supposed to be. And then you get knuckleheads like this that come out here with one play that's like so over overpowering. And if you don't know how to stop it, you know, that's it. It's over. It's over for you. And this is what people promote online. You got people that think they're really good based off of on a glitch play. Now you make that make sense to me. I don't I don't see how that is. <laughs> It ain't about like stopping it, it's just a lot of what the game's gonna allow you to do. You know? Like just because I'm good at something does not necessarily mean that, or because I'm good at it, that means everybody's supposed to know how to do it. Should, everybody should be, not, should be able to stop something just based on what the game allows you to do. And if the game allows people to be able to scramble out of the pocket at will, buy freaking 40 more seconds to throw the ball, you know, have all these superhero players on the field. You know, they kind of kill the game. If you want to play Mutt, keep Mutt in Mutt. Leave Mutt out of regs. That would be based. It's supposed to be competitive. That would be based on our freaking abilities. How well you can adapt to situations. How well you can like multitask, think. Not just throw a play out there that you know destroys your game. And then there's no way for you to really stop it on when you're on defense. If you don't really understand what the person's doing. So that's just my little rant about this stuff. And more likely when you play people like this, they're going to play somebody, they're going to blow them out, and they're going to keep playing because they got Hill, they got whoever. But then the minute they find any type of struggle, they're the first persons to run. They're not going to understand why they got beat. They're just going to take off running. Like, he's not going to finish this game. <laughs> One more turnover and it's over. And I call it the coward's mentality. I don't, you know, I don't doubt that he's, he got to where he got to, you know, rank-wise, playing with the Chiefs. And with this game right here with the inside zone and the crossing routes, yeah, I mean, it'll be hard to stop. It'll be hard for any normal person to stop. So, but like I said, this is what people promote. So I really don't want to hear anybody talking about some madness, this, this and madness that way. This is the mentality. Okay, give, give me those. So we're going to see what's going to happen right now. And that's what I've seen online. Even when people have challenged me in the streams. It's the same thing. They'll come in there and they're running cheese plays. So I'm like, keep all the freaking Madden hate to yourself, man. Because you guys aren't even trying to play the game correctly. So you don't want a simulation game. Just admit it. You want an arcade game. That's my argument. Because if you wanted a simulation game, then you try to play Madden properly. But what do you see on what do you see on YouTube a tutorial? It's oh I found another glitch play, oh I found this, I found that. How it works doesn't really matter. How the defense plays against it doesn't really matter. Just run this. But why are you running it? What's the point of running it if you don't understand why you're running against what defense situations, scenarios? All that stuff is out the window. There you go man, two hundred and forty fifth guy man, playing like a newbie. Crazy, right? 
Alright guys, man, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe subscribe button for me one time. Bang! And until next time, fellas, as usual, I'll holla at you dudes. Later. Catch you on the next stream. R1.